For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we will always be with the Lord behold. I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we shall be changed then two men will be in the field, one will be taken and one left. Two women will be grinding at the mill, one will be taken and one left now for the next two minutes Williams. I, director will share a word, so over. Three, two, one. Hello guys, it's Isaac here, and I am going to be doing a short sharing of a few words on the topic, what the Bible teaches about the rapture. And so to begin, I'm just going to highlight the scriptures. The first one is first Thessalonians chapter four, verse 16 and 17. Then it's Matthew chapter 24, verse 40 and 41. And then it's first Corinthians chapter 15, verse 51 and 52. So the concept of the rapture, as understood by some Christians, denominations referred to the belief believers in Jesus Christ will be taken up to heaven before a period of tribulation on earth. While this, the specific word rapture is not used in the Bible, some verses are commonly associated with this idea. Here are a few scriptures often referenced discussions about the rapture. And these passages are interpreted by some as referring to the rapture event. However, it's important to note that interpretations of biblical prophecy can vary among different Christian groups. And not all Christians believe in a pre-tribulation rapture. So, um, guys, I want to say thank you for coming to this video. I hope that you guys learned something and I'm going to pray. I'll register eternal father. We thank you. We thank you for everything you have done for us in our lives. We thank you for your son, Jesus, our Lord and savior who died on the cross of Calvary and shed his blood for our iniquities. Father God, I thank you for those who have come to this video for the first time. I pray that you'll give them a blessing. Father God, I also pray for those who will come afterwards. I pray that you will bless them also. Lord, I ask that you will open up the minds and hearts of the listeners who come to this video so that they can share in the wonderful things that you have in store for them. Father God, I pray that you will make us all beacons of light and hope to those who see us and follow our examples of our life of faithfulness to the Lord. Father God, I pray that you will be with us and bless us and have a faith shot. So guys, with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.